Jackie Chan is one of Hollywood's most beloved icons. From his do-your-own stunt style, original comedy and welcoming personality, there is no questioning why he has become so successful in the entertainment industry. Despite his millions of adoring fans, countless films, and even more philanthropic efforts, he has stayed largely out of the spotlight, and not a ton is actually known about the star. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Jackie Chan. Family Secret. Jackie Chan grew up knowing his father to be an actor, even casting him in some of his own directorial features, but what he would be shocked to learn that Charles, real name Fong Dalong, was secretly a spy for the Chinese Nationalist Revolutionary Army, not to mention he met Chan's mother when he arrested her for smuggling opium into China. It was not until far into his adulthood and after his mother's 2001 death that Chan would learn these deep family secrets. Becoming Jackie. Born Chan Kong Sang, Jackie Chan has had a lot of nicknames throughout his life, but Jackie is one that has stuck best. After withdrawing him from school, his father moved to Canberra, Australia, in 1960, to work as the head cook for the American Embassy, and in 1976, Chan also moved to Canberra, where he attended Dixon College, and then began work as a construction worker. He worked under a senior worker named Jack, which earned him the nickname Little Jack, and that quickly became Jackie. Getting started. He began acting when he was a child, and by 1971 was signed to Chu Mu's Great Earth Film Company. While still a teenager he began work as a stuntman in Bruce Lee films, including Fist of Fury and Enter the Dragon, and in the early 70s, also landed his first starring role in Little Tiger of Canton. With his career failing to take off the way he had hoped, Chan actually ended up starring in the adult film All in the Family, in which he appeared in his first ever sex scene. Although he said he was not embarrassed by the film, he did not do another sex scene until 34 years later. Early in his career, many directors tried to make him into the next Bruce Lee, but his style was not the same, and Chan did not find success until one director let him have freedom over the stunts. Stuntman. Jackie Chan is renowned in Hollywood for always doing his own stunts, no matter how dangerous, and holds the Guinness World Record for the most stunts by a living actor. Over his many years of doing stunts, he has broken many bones and has broken his nose four times alone. One of his worst injuries was when he fell out of a tree while filming the armor of God and fractured his skull. The fracture caused blood to pour out of his ear, and although the injury was fixed, he now has a permanent plug in his skull because of the hole. He doesn't like Rush Hour. For many fans, Rush Hour was one of Jackie Chan's best and most hilarious films, but it turns out that it was one of his least favorite. He said, I have reasons to make each film, I have something to say. Unlike Rush Hour there was no reason, you just give me the money and I'm fine. I dislike Rush Hour the most, but ironically it sold really well in the US and Europe. He holds the Guinness World Record for most credits on a movie. Chan often directs, produces, and stars in his Hong Kong films, but some projects have inspired him to take on additional responsibilities. For 2012's Chinese Zodiac, Chan earned a Guinness World Record for most credits in a single film. In addition to directing, producing, and acting, he is also credited as fight choreographer, composer, art director, unit production manager, gaffer, theme tune vocalist, writer, cinematographer, stuntman, prop work, and catering coordinator. He can sing. Of all of Jackie Chan's amazing and incredible talents, one of the most surprising is that he is a trained singer. While still a child, he had vocal lessons at the Peking Opera School, the China Drama Academy, during which time his father moved to Australia. In the early 80s, he began producing his first professional records and has since released over 20 albums and has performed in Cantonese, Mandarin, Japanese, Taiwanese, and English. He created his own comic book character. In 1997, Jackie Chan created a comic book called Spartan X, inspired by his character from the 1986 movie Armor of God character Asian Hawk, which ran under Topps Comics from 1997. That was only his first time being transferred into ink. Jackie Chan Adventures, his animated series on WB in which he voiced a fictionalized version of himself, had its own graphic spin-off series in the 2000s. He's a philanthropist. In 2006, Forbes called Chan philanthropy's hardest working man, highlighting his work with the Make-A-Wish Foundation and other charities, and commending his generosity with both his time and his money. 
Others may give more or get more attention, but probably nobody works harder for more causes than Chan, the magazine reported. The Jackie Chan Charitable Foundation, launched in 1988, originally offered scholarships to Hong Kong youth, but has since broadened its scope to provide medical services and aid to the victims of natural disasters. After the 2008 earthquake in Sichuan, Chan donated more than $1.3 million to relief efforts, and following the 2011 earthquake and tsunami in Japan, the actor organized a benefit concert that raised approximately $3.4 million. Encouraged by the efforts of Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, Chan has pledged to will at least half of his estate to charity upon his death. The actor said, when I give somebody something and see their face, it just makes me so happy. Chinese Disney. Thanks to his fame, talent and singing skills, he has also done some lesser-known work in animated films. Chan voiced the character of Shang in the Chinese version of Disney's 1998 film Mulan, and also performed the hit song I'll Make a Man Out of You for the film and the Chinese soundtrack. For the US version, the voice was done by B.D. Wong, and the singing was done by Donny Osmond. Similarly, for Disney's Chinese release of Beauty and the Beast, Chan provided the voice and singing for the Beast.